Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the story of how police killed a Compton man named Ryan Twyman. Ryan Twyman, also known as Benz, was born June 3rd, 1995. He was a Compton native and was a member of the Westside Pyrus. The Westside Pyrus are one of the deadliest gangs around Compton and they were founded over 50 years ago, making them one of the oldest black gangs in LA County. The founders named the gang Pyru after the street they lived on the west side of Compton. They would later become rivals of several crib gangs around Compton, like the Pocket Hood Compton Crips, the Front Hood Compton Crips, and the Carver Park Compton Crips, among many others. Being active in the streets, Benz would get a name for being active, and it would be a disrespectful term to the Carver Parks. A lot of people would come from the west side Pyru's area, like rappers Wale the Sensei, Key Riches, Hitter J3, and even Kenja Lamar would be affiliated with the area. On the morning of June 6, 2019, Benz, who was 24 years old at the time, was in the parking lot of a Willowbrook Apartments. Deputies received information that Benz, who was under investigation for gun possession, who drove a white Kia, was at the apartment complex. Months earlier, gang investigators had found guns at his home, but Benz was not present. In police June 6 video, two deputies approached Benz's car, and one of the deputies walked to the back passenger side door and opened it and peered inside. The video shows at that moment, the driver, later identified as Benz, started the engine and the vehicle moved in reverse, catching a deputy in a door jam. And the video shows as the key reversed, the passenger side deputy were struck with the open rear passenger door and pushed open to the center parking lot as he attempted to maintain his balance to avoid being knocked down or ran over. Both deputies fired their pistols at Benz's car. The car is shown continued to back up until it hits a pole in the parking lot. The other man in the Kia, named Damien, who was 22, and deputies were uninjured. The department confirmed that deputies fired approximately 34 shots, taking Benz's life. County Sheriff's Department put out this video, which shows a controversial deputy-involved shooting that happened here on June 6th, and an unarmed man was killed in that shooting. Ryan Twyman, 24 years old. He was a convicted felon who was on probation, and he was wanted for the illegal possession of guns. In fact, they say they went to the apartment complex here in Willowbrook to find him. Now, when cops showed up, they say they saw Twyman's car, that Kia Forte. He was inside with another man. Deputies tried to make contact with him. That's when they say he accelerated in reverse with the car door open. That door hit an officer, and the deputies opened fire multiple times. Benz's family filed a claim for damages against the county, stating that the men in the car were unarmed and that deputies used excessive force against them. Brian Dunn, the attorney for the family, said the shooting raises questions, stating there was no justification for shooting into a moving vehicle. He said the only conceivable way is if it was a shootout and the person inside the vehicle was actively firing at the people outside of the vehicle. The family of a man shot and killed by L.A. County Sheriff's deputies is demanding answers tonight. The 24-year-old died in a hail of gunfire last week in the community of Willowbrook. KTLA's Nerissa Knight spoke with the victim's family and friends. She's live with more tonight. Nerissa. That's right, Micah. Good evening. Here in Willowbrook, the community is coming together in their pain. Family members, friends, neighbors, activists, the NAACP, the family's attorney, they all tell me they want answers and action. Blatant murder. A son, brother, and father fatally shot just three days after his birthday. We have another unarmed black man shot and killed. Ryan is my boyfriend. We've been together almost five years. We have kids together. According to witnesses, around 7.30 Thursday evening, June 6th, two deputies with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department approached a parked car before the deputies fired fatal shots at the man in the driver's seat in a parking stall at this apartment complex at San Pedro and 132nd Street in Willowbrook. He parked right here. The police opened his door up and said he had a gun and started shooting. 24-year-old Ryan Twyman of Compton was shot multiple times and pronounced dead at the scene. The Sheriff's Department confirms no weapon was found. The one officer ran up to the car, snatched the door open, and started firing. Never said, identified himself as the police. The other officer, as you see all the little lines, ran up with his assault rifle, still unloading on the car 30 rounds. As the president of the NAACP, I thought it was important to get all the facts. So I've talked to the mom. I've talked to the captain of the Compton station. The fact that they've been silent is very troubling. That's very troubling. The sheriff's statement has not said anything. Social media outrage is erupting over the shooting as many cite a pattern of law enforcement versus black men. 
uh, unarmed black men were shot, and the community just tired of it. We're tired of this happening over and over and over. Yes, there will be a lawsuit filed. Yes, we will file a claim. Yes, we will bring an action for federal civil rights violations. Yeah, that's the bullet hole. Today at the site where Ryan lost his life across the street from his elementary school where he lived and stayed with his girlfriend and sons, there are questions right and frustration. Broken. I think everything is destroyed. Everything is ruined. Uh, the four-year-old father of three was unarmed. After waking up this morning and watching this video, I have a clear view, that uh, opinion, that my son was murdered. He was very respectful, and everyone loved him. His kids, his family, everyone. And we just want to see justice for Ryan, because this isn't the first one, and most definitely it won't be the last one. The Sheriff's Department. Ben's family in the community were rallying protests after his death for justice. By 2020, Ben's family was settled for $3.9 million settlement. Officer Andrew Lyons will initially be charged with manslaughter, but his case will be solved by January 2024, where he will only be sentenced to 30 days in jail. L.A. County Sheriff's deputy will spend 30 days in jail and serve two years probation in connection with the deadly shooting of 24-year-old Ryan Twyman today. Today, Twyman's mother spoke about the death of her son. Thank you for the family and friends who supported us. and. I miss him. We all miss him very, very much. We miss his smile, his laugh. A 39-year-old Andrew Lyons pleaded no contest to assault with a firearm in the shooting of... Benz will leave behind a family and a few kids. RIP to him. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.